Welcome to Sweden. We're just north of Stockholm in the Troster Park. It's a beautiful place where Subaru invited us to test the new WRX STI. Difficult weather conditions meant some varied conditions, but the STI is referred to as the hero of the brand by David Dello Stritto. He's Subaru's European General Sales Manager. It took the engineers uh, about three years to develop this. And in short, they squeezed every ounce of power they could from the 2.5 EJ series engine. They remapped the engine, so essentially the engine is the same, but it feels completely different. Uh, the axle response is much higher, and this is the feedback we're getting from, from, from the guys. And basically, we're, we're putting the car on the handling track where you can feel the new steering response, uh, the rear tire grip, and the flat ride of the car, which is quite exceptional. Tim Schrick is a professional driver, didn't hesitate in testing both himself and the car. He used to drive Subaru cars competitively, so his thoughts on the test drive of great interest. The new uh, STI is like uh, um, a real race car now, it feels like a rally car, because the lack of uh, the processor models was, uh, um, in my opinion, the steering. So th the steering wasn't that uh, precise and that direct like uh, other cars in that, in that class. And uh, this for me is the biggest uh, step uh, for drivability, uh, it's the more direct steering. So you can handle the car very easy on gravel, you use the handbrake and just go. Around 200 journalists were invited to test the STI. Uh, they were invited to uh, go on the reversed track tune suspension. Various intelligent assist models called SI Drive, as well as the driver controlled center differential and active torque vectoring. All clever stuff. Le moteur extraordinaire, le comportement ludique. Well, it's an uh, exceptional uh, uh, engine. Uh, the performance uh, is fun, very communicative, uh, which uh, allows you to enjoy yourself uh, while you're out there while trying as uh, hard as you can, but not as uh, much as a professional driver. About the design, I have to say that it's the most beautiful impressor for a long time. It really is gorgeous. This is traditional Subaru fast car, this is traditional STI, so it's back to blue, back to a big wing. But I, I think it looks good for me, but um, I wish the design was a bit more adventurous because the concept that they showed, the WRX STI concept, I really enjoyed that car. And I think maybe if it was a bit closer to that, I would prefer that. Subaru is about all-wheel drive. This is all we do. We, we, we don't have to wheel drive in the, in the segment except for the BRZ. Uh, we produce symmetrical all-wheel drive, and in short, that's a combination of a boxer engine and a symmetrical layout, a 4x4. And that provides a very low center of gravity, and that's true for the STI, which is a very fast car, but that's also true for the, the, the off-roads we've got in the lineup. Three other cars were tested by journalists, the Forester XV, and Outback, and despite having their own character, each car shares some common features like symmetrical transmission, all-wheel drive, steering wheel mounted controls, multifunction panel, rear vision camera, GPS, digital device connections, and each of course has a whole load of cleverly designed storage. The three cars are all available in various versions with differing levels of accessories. Well, the bulk of the general car market is about two-wheel drive cars. Subaru took another route, and to be honest, anyone who's driven one of their four-wheel drives knows what the real bonus is in terms of driving comfort and security. Right here, we've got some extreme conditions in the mud, and even with standard road tyres, the SUVs are working really well. It's a true multi-purpose vehicle. Well, more than 80% of Subaru's sales in Europe are SUVs. There's no doubt this new generation of cars will satisfy existing fans and maybe tempt a few new customers as well.